OnePlus just released OxygenOS 15, the Android 15 software update for their devices. And I gotta say, this is hands down their best update yet. I've got it running here on my OnePlus 12 and the new features, design tweaks, and under the hood improvements are awesome. It's got that snappy smooth feel, plus a fresh look that brings back the classic OxygenOS vibes we all love. So grab a drink, hit the thumbs up button to show your support, and let's dive into everything that's new in OxygenOS 15. Oh, and just so you can get a clear comparison, I've got two OnePlus 12s here. The left one is on OxygenOS 14, and the right one is on the latest OxygenOS 15. You'll be able to see the differences side by side. Let's kick it off with the most obvious changes, the design tweaks. Across the UI, you've got redesigned system icons, more rounded corners, bouncier effects, a fresh charging animation, and even a new fingerprint unlock animation called Halo, which I really love. OnePlus even brought back that signature black, white, and red theme we used to love, calling it Two-Tone. It's simpler, cleaner, more polished, and really feels like a throwback to the OG OxygenOS look. They've also refreshed the stock icons on the home screen with brighter colors and better shadows. Plus, you've got new icons to try out like Radiance for a retro 80s vibe, or Shadow if you want something more abstract and dark. Even the widgets got some love with updated clock designs that are bigger and more aesthetic. On top of this, OnePlus is also updating the shelf widgets in the future, and as you can see from this preview, it looks great. Now, aside from the design updates, OxygenOS 15 brings a bunch of new features that make the experience more customizable and personal. One of my favorite new features is Flux themes found within the wallpapers and style section. Basically, you get preset themes that let you customize your lock screen, wallpaper, always on display, and more, so you can switch up the look whenever you want. It's similar to how Apple does it with their home screen and lock screen presets, but OnePlus adds even more customization options. For example, you can apply a depth effect to your wallpaper so that the subject pops out over the clock or text on the lock screen. You can also crop the subject entirely out of the picture's background and have them appear in a unique shape to create an aesthetically pleasing lock screen. It even works with pets. You can also tweak the size and color of the clock, add extra info like the weather or step count, use giant word art with random motivational quotes, and even customize the wallpaper by adding a glass pattern effect or just blurring it out as well. Kind of like the Nothing Phone setup. Plus, for that cherry on top, you now get extra animations when transitioning between the always on display to the lock screen and then the home screen. It's very smooth and looks really clean. OxygenOS 15 also introduced live alerts. And yeah, it's a little like Apple's Dynamic Island. If you've got certain activities running in the background, like a timer, the music, or screen recording, the front camera hole punch expands into a pill shape to show you relevant info. You can tap on it to expand it into a detailed card to control more stuff. Or you can even swipe it to switch between the capsules or even just hide it. Now, OxygenOS 14 already had a pill-shaped island before, but it would appear on the left side and basically hide all of your notification icons. I think moving it to the middle and making it dark so that it animates nicely from the hole punch was a fantastic move. Plus, it still feels really smooth. Now let's talk about multitasking. OxygenOS 15 takes split view and floating windows to the next level, making it a lot easier to handle multiple tasks at once. First off, you can now drag the divider even further in split view. So one app takes up more space on the screen while the other stays minimized. OnePlus calls it open canvas, and this comes in handy when you need to focus more on one app, but you still want to quickly access the other one with a quick tap and it makes switching between the two apps effortless. They also added the ability to save app pairs, so if you're always using two apps like YouTube and Twitter or any other combo in split view, you can create a shortcut for that app pair and launch it instantly later on from the home screen. And there are also three new dots on the top of each app that let you modify the panels even further. And you can even swap out the current app for another, which is really nice. As for the floating window, OxygenOS 15 introduced some fantastic new gesture controls. For example, whenever you receive a notification, you can swipe down on the banner to open it into a floating window. From there, you can swipe down on its navbar to completely enlarge it, or swipe up on it to close it. 
or even just swipe it sideways to hide it. It makes multitasking a breeze. This next one's interesting. You can now separate your notification drawer from the quick settings panel when you enable this new split mode within the settings. So now you can bring up your notifications by swiping on the left side of the status bar and then bring up your quick settings from the right side. Uh, from there, you can even swipe left or right to switch between the pages. It's actually really handy for accessing more stuff at once and it's similar to how iOS does it. Speaking of iOS, OctionOS 15 has also made sharing files between iPhones a breeze. Just head over to the settings, tap on connection and sharing, and you'll see a new option called share with iPhone. Once you turn it on, you can easily send any file directly from the sharing menu to an iPhone. iPhone users will just need to download an extra app called O Plus Connect to be able to receive those files, but that's it. I love that OnePlus added this feature to be honest because as we all know, sending files between iPhone and Android has always been a pain. So this is pretty simple. And of course, it's 2024, so OnePlus had to throw in some new AI features, most of which are cloud-based, but there are a few that are on device. Check the top left corner to see if the AI feature I'm discussing is cloud or on device. One of my favorites is AI Reply. While messaging in apps like Instagram, WhatsApp, or Snapchat, you can drag in the smart sidebar and tap on AI Reply. It'll analyze the screen and then suggest replies in different tones. It's perfect for when you just can't think of what to respond and the replies are actually pretty good. You can even type in your own reply and have it boost the tone if needed. Within the Notes app, they've also added in an AI assistant to help you with your notes. It can improve your writing by making the formatting look better, maybe clean it up, continue the writing, or even shorten it, or change the tone, and more. It works really well and improves it in just a few seconds. When using OnePlus's global search, AI will also be introduced. OnePlus calls it intelligent search, and this AI tool will dig deep into your phone's files to answer any questions you may have. It sounds helpful, but I haven't been able to try it yet on my phone, it just didn't appear. For those who travel a lot, I'm sure you'll appreciate this next one. With a new AI feature called PassScan, you'll be able to take a picture or a screenshot of your boarding pass, and within the OnePlus Photo app, a new option will appear to let you quickly add it to your Google Wallet. Pretty sweet. In the camera department, OctionOS 15 also brought a few new AI-powered goodies. For starters, there's AI Unblur, which is pretty self-explanatory. It attempts to fix slightly out-of-focus shots, and I'll be honest, it's not the best. The results feel more like smoothening rather than actual true sharpening. Google's AI Unblur feature, for example, is a lot better. On the flip side though, there's a better AI tool called AI Reflection Eraser, and it works a lot better. It removes glare from photos taken through windows, and it does, it does work really well. It works even better than the reflection tool found on the latest Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Then there's AI Detail Boost, which is supposed to enhance the clarity of a shot, but it's mostly a gimmick. I didn't really notice much of a difference between regular photos and those enhanced by the feature. Auction OS 15 also supports circle to search now, so you can long press the nav bar, circle anything on the screen, and have Google look it up. Super handy for quick lookups. And speaking of Google, their AI assistant, Gemini, will now be integrated as the default assistant for future OnePlus flagships and even support extra features like Gemini Live. Pretty sweet. Honestly, not a bad list of AI features. On the security side of things, OctionOS 15 has some cool new additions. Even if your OnePlus phone is powered off, you can still track it using the Find My Device app. There's also Google's theft protection, which locks your phone if it detects that someone took it away and started running with it. There's also Google Play Protect live threat detection, which analyzes app behavior and detects potential malware when you download an app. And just like before, you can still hide apps, but you can now access them through a fake app in your app drawer. You can even customize the fake app by changing its icon and name so that it's super hard to find. Before, you can only access your hidden apps through the dial pad in the phone app, but you still have that option. OnePlus also still has Private Safe, which lets you lock away any of your imports data that you can only access yourself with the password. And in Auction OS 15, it's further been improved to let you create folders and filter the items to better manage your hidden data. Auction OS 15 also has brought many other smaller changes that are still very much appreciated. 
For example, when you're editing a photo and you save those edits, you can still revert back to the original in the future no matter what. When you jump into the Recents page, you'll be shown the app you used last instead of the current one that you were using, saving you an extra swipe. There's also a new battery protection reminder that will automatically turn on the charging limit feature, which basically just halts the charging at 80% if the device has been charging for far too long. That comes in handy if you're charging your phone with a really slow charging brick, cause that could harm your battery health in the long run. Auction OS 15 also gives Hollow Audio a nice upgrade, making sound feel more immersive. And now it only works not only with music, but also during video calls, audiobooks, and even navigation. The idea is to make different audio sources feel like you're, they're coming from various different directions, which adds a cool layer of depth, especially when multitasking. But to be honest, I think it's a gimmick. Lastly, they even brought back the OnePlus calculator Easter egg. You just type in OnePlus equals and you'll see the Never Settle logo. Finally, Auction OS 15 brought some solid under the hood changes that really make the UI feel snappier and smoother overall. So for example, things like opening a widget, a folder, or even switching between apps feels just a little bit faster. How do they do it? Well, it's thanks to a new process that they created called parallel processing. Now I know this sounds a bit technical, but hang in there because it's actually pretty cool and no other phone has done this yet. Before, in Auction OS 14, when you tapped on an app like Instagram, your phone had to go through six different actions just to get the app open. If you tried to launch another app, say Twitter, you'd have to wait until Instagram finished all of its steps before Twitter could start, which added a little lag. With parallel processing, OnePlus basically lets apps run their actions simultaneously upon tapping on them, even if you're switching between them really fast. This makes everything from app switching to a widget or folder opening to be a lot smoother. Now, to be fair, you've got to switch between apps ridiculously fast, like in a matter of milliseconds to really notice the difference. It mostly comes in handy when you accidentally tap the wrong app and quickly swipe back to hit the right one. But hey, I still appreciate the attention to detail from OnePlus. Not even Apple has done something like this. Another cool thing with Auction OS 15 is that they managed to shrink the system storage data. OnePlus says that they've reduced the system size by up to 20%, which is already great. But on my OnePlus 12 running Auction OS 14, the system size was about 21 gigabytes. And now with Auction OS 15 on my other OnePlus 12, it's only 8.1 gigabytes. That's like an extra 13 gigabytes of space that I can just use now, which is pretty great. OnePlus has also beefed up its multi-network experience, which basically means smoother, more accurate transitions between networks. So that's a wrap on what's new with Auction OS 15. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this update. It feels like OnePlus really listened to the community this time around, going back to their roots by bringing in fresh features that actually improve the Android experience while keeping that OnePlus vibe alive. Oh, and I'm thrilled that they brought back that two-tone color theme. It brings back some serious memories of the good old days of OnePlus. If you want to check out the update for yourself, I'll leave a link right below the like button so that way you can download it. And don't forget to tap on this video to learn about all the new features that are found within Android 15. Thanks for sticking around. If you like this deep dive, hit a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!